In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can back up your WordPress website. This is, of course, a very important thing to do because you put a lot of time and energy into creating a wonderful website with WordPress. Uh, so you don't wanna lose it and keeping a backup is a good way to stop that from happening. It's also very important to do backups before you run any updates or do any major changes to your website. Just in case something goes wrong, you can quickly roll it back to as it was before, no harm done. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. Now, before I start, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you as part of the WP Eagle community. Click below on the subscribe button and click the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video. It tends to be every single week. And by the way, did you know that I do a live stream? You didn't? Ah, well I do, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. UK time. Generally every Wednesday, you know, providing I'm around. But yeah, last few weeks I've been up there. We do a Q&A, we talk about WordPress, affiliate marketing, all sorts of stuff. So it'd be really good to see you there if you can make it. But anyway, today's video is all around backing up WordPress. As I mentioned, it's a really important thing to do. You don't want to lose your website. Uh, you know, something can go wrong or something breaks, whatever. You want to be able to roll back the site uh, back to as it was working and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be using a free plugin. It's a really easy to use plugin. Just got to install it and do a few little bits and bobs and you can schedule backups or you can just kind of click a button and do a backup whenever you need one. So I think that's enough of my face. Let's get on the laptop and get it done. Okay, so I'm over at one of my test sites, just a site that I like to play around with it. You know, it's not a live site or anything like that, but it's perfect for me to do this demonstration. Of course, what I'm gonna show you will work on any WordPress setup that you've got, regardless of the themes or the plugins that you're running. So speaking of plugins, that's what we need to do first. We need to install our backup plugin. Uh, the plugin we're gonna be using today is free. You'd be pleased to know. So I'm in my dashboard, I'm just gonna to go to plugins and then add new. Then I'm gonna go up to the search box up here and I'm gonna type in updraft, which is the name of the plugin we're gonna be using today. Here it is, the updraft plus WordPress backup plugin. I'm gonna click install now. It takes a few moments just to download it and uh, install it onto the site. Okay, that's all installed. Uh, let's click activate to turn it on. So that's activated. If we go into settings, we can now see that there is this bit here called updraft plus backups. Let's click on that. And in here we can find everything to do with our backups. So if I want to do a backup right now, say for example, we're about to do some updates, that kind of thing, we want to do a backup and you know have a really up-to-date backup. You just click backup now. And you want to make sure that these are ticked. So include the database in the backup and include any files in the backup. Click backup now. And then it goes off and does its thing. So let's just give that a few moments to finish up. Okay, so it's all complete. It didn't take too long. And now if we click on existing backups, we can see there is our backup. So it keeps the files on your web server. Um, however, you know that might not be the best place to uh, to keep them. So uh, what you'd want to do periodically, at least, is download these files. So uh, you know, click on the database uh, and download to your computer. Then it will just pop up a box, and you can you know save it somewhere safe on your computer. And you want to do the same with plugins, themes, uploads, and others. Basically, all of that stuff. Now, if we wanted to restore this backup, we would just come in here and click Restore. Uh, and then you can tick what you want to restore like that. And then you just click Restore. I won't do it now, a bit boring, but you get the idea. That's how you do a restore. Um, now, if you wanted to restore from um, a file that you downloaded onto your computer, like I just did, you click here, Upload Backup Files, and then just select uh, what you've downloaded and, and do it that way. So that's basically the basics of it. Um, if we go into the settings, there's a few more things that you can play around with. So you can set up a schedule if you want. So you can back up every four hours, every day, every week, 
week, every fortnight, every month. It's a pretty good idea to back up every week. Obviously, if you set it more frequently, it's gonna use up your uh, hosting space. So uh, that's up to you, but of course, you can adjust this setting over here and um, you know decide how many recent backups you wanna keep. You know, If you're only keeping a couple, you'll be fine to do it every day. Um, because it will just delete the older backups. And two's probably enough, you know, how far do you really need to go back? You'd also wanna do the same on uh, the database backup schedule. What you can do is you can um, save to remote storage. So if you've got Dropbox or Amazon S3 or Google Drive, any of that kind of stuff, you can um, save your backup straight there. So you just click on Dropbox, and then you come down here and to authenticate, you click here. It's basically different for each one, but it's very simple. Just um, just click on it, authenticate, decide what you wanna back up, uh, probably everything as usual. Uh, you can tick a box so that it sends an email to you and lets you know that it's all working. Um, so that's pretty cool. It might be good to save it on Dropbox if you've got it, then you've always got access to your backups, even if you haven't got your computer with you. In the advanced tools, there's some stuff that you're not gonna need to worry about. And there is some premium stuff if you want it. So, you know, if you want extra um, remote storage locations, you can do cloning and migration, you can get some support. Um, you can do automatic backups before you uh, do updates, which is, you know, if you're really lazy and you can't bother to come in and click a button, you could go for that and some other stuff. But if we're honest, the free version just, you know, does pretty much what you need it to do. So that's it. So there we go, hopefully you're now clear on how to do a backup of your site. So if anything goes wrong, you've got no worries, you can just do a restore and all is good. As I mentioned before, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you as part of the community. Click on the legal up there and click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Talking of videos, here's a video. It's chosen specially for you, so I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. And if you wanna watch something else, why not check out my vlog channel? It's just up there. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.